Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! In today's video, I would like to share with you on how I save some money on a part-time job. And at the same time, kung paano ako nakaka-save ng money from doing shopping. So, ito yung mga nasi-save ko being a part-time job worker. I'm very proud of it. Kasi, you know, na, ma, nagsipag at nagsyaga ka magtatrabaho dito sa ibang bansa. Tapos, meron ka nang nakikitang savings. O, di ba? But before anything else, I would like to give you a little background of myself. Kung paano ko nagiging hobby ang pagsisave ng pera. Okay. I was born and raised in a small village in the Philippines. My father was murdered when I was eight. We are six children in the family raised by my own mother. When my father was killed, my mom was seven months pregnant with my youngest sister. It was the most loneliest moment of her life when she lost my father. I've been through a lot of pains and struggles growing up because it's not easy to uh, lose one parent. You know, napakahirap talaga, especially yung mama ko walang alam kung paano maghanap ng source of income. We have a farm, a good size of farm, pero nung namatay ang papa ko wala nang nagko-cultivate. So we just kind of abandoned the farm kasi hindi namin alam, hindi alam ng mama ko. Ang liliit pa namin eh, yung panganay, he was just only, I would say maybe 14 or 13 years old, tapos sunod-sunod na kami. So, parang, di ba, ginawa mo ang lahat para makatulong sa pamilya mo, tapos ang liit ko pa noon. So, nagtitinda ako sa palingki, tuwing says, tapos, kung ano-ano lang yung makukuha sa bukid, sa bundok, para maibinta, ginagawa ko yun. So, it's not only a struggled for a kid to work so hard to help out providing income for your family. It is also painful that you grow up, you don't have that much aside from, you know, yung, yung financial support. Yung makikita mo sa ibang bata na ang ganda ng buhay nila, meron sila, tapos ikaw wala. It's painful, you know. Um, during Christmas time, mag-i-enjoy ang mga bata, tapos kami, hindi. Yung natutulog kami after the midnight mass, kasi wala naman kaming handaan. You know guys, to be honest with you, when I was little, hindi namin matikman yung spaghetti, kung ano yung macaroni, salad, Yung mga ganun, yung mga ganun pagkain. Yung mga fried chicken, I never had that one when I grow up. Ang maganda doon is, I was challenged. You know, nangarap ako, sabi ko sa sarili ko, kapag ako ay nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral, mag-a-abroad ako, maghanap ng trabaho, and I will help out my family. Yung ganun. So, in, to make the story short, I'm sorry, naiyak ako. To make the story short, I was blessed uh, to get a full scholarship provided by our parish priest at that time, yung para sa mga, mga anak na walang kaya sa buhay. So, naka-avail ako ng ganyang scholarship. So, natapos ko yun. Hindi naman ako matalino. Kumbaga, nasa... Hindi rin ako slow. Kumbaga, nasa average lang yung, yung, yung academic ko dati. So, tapos ko yun, yung college. Tapos, pumunta ako ng abroad. Ang hirap ng buhay magiging OFW. 
but I was very very blessed na napunta ako sa Acer Company sa Taiwan. So naging factory worker ako doon at napaka um, how do I say that? Boom yung company na yun, yung nadatnan ko dati. Ang grabe ang overtime. So doon nag-umpisa yung changes ng buhay ng family ko dahil na I help out to build house for my mom and for my siblings. Yung bahay namin na sira-sira nagiging cement concrete na siya. In other words, yung kapatid ko na nakakap- napag-aral ko sila in college, I help them throughout uh, doon na iba yung buhay namin. So, nung nag-asawa ako, I'm already settled. So, wala nang nising ko sintimos, walang naitulong yung asawa ko sa akin hanggang ngayon. Dahil, meron na ako eh. I was only 25 at that time when I achieve a lot of my dreams in life. So, kasi nakafocus ako sa family ko eh, at sa trabaho, hindi yung nagbo-boyfriend, nag, you know, wala ako sa ganun at that time. So, para talaga yung time ko doon talaga sa family ko. So, by the way, let's go back to the main topic of this video. So, pakasave at mag enjoy ng shopping habang nagtatrabaho ka lang na isang part-time worker. First, when you go shopping, you have to use coupon. So, a coupon is issued by a retailer or a manufacturer. Okay? So, I will show you how it looks like. Ganito yan. Did you see that? It's a super cash from Old Navy store. So, when you spend $75, you will save $30. So, bayaran mo lang lahat yung mga na shopping mo at saka ibigay mo ito sa cashier. So, discount nila tong $30. So, uuwi ka lang ng $45 yung na-spend mo at that time. Tapos, ang disadvantage lang ng coupon, meron siyang expiration date. For example, like this super cash from Old Navy store, it is only valid on October 26 until November 3. So, within the, that period of time, saka mo lang ito magagamit. Hindi mo magagamit sa ibang araw. So, that's the disadvantage of this coupon. But, kaya nga magtabi ka ng kunting pera pagdating ng sahod mo para may pang shopping ka. O, ba? The next thing also that you can save more ongoing shopping kahit part-time job lang ang meron ka is buy items on clearance. Ito na. It's between sales and clearance. Yung sales, it means they lowered the price just to attract the customers well the clearance items are lowered the price in order to sell the items quickly and make a room for new items so meaning yung clearances Pwede siyang seasonal items or outdated. Tendency pag maraming clearances, marami ka rin kapariha. <laughs> but that's fine. Bakit? Idi, terno kami. O ba? <laughs> but I ne- it never happened to me na meron akong nabiling dress, na meron akong kapariha, nakikita ko everywhere or sa mall. Wala. Pero is... Don't buy unnecessary things. 
you know, the most common problem for all of us, especially women, kung bakit tayo ay bili ng bili kahit hindi importante, dahil we are bored. <laughs> when we buy something, we always feel excited and it makes our day more interesting. Pero sa totoo lang, merong paraan yan. Kapag ikaw ay na bored, watching TV at home, computers, using computer, or anything, find other ways to divert your time. Tulad ng pwede kang mag-crochet. O diba? Pwede kang mag-tanim. Kung maganda ang weather outside. You can also cook. Para pagdating ng panahon, you don't go out and eat and spend another money at the restaurant. O diba? So, maganda na yung merong ka ginawa para hindi ka mabuboard at hindi mo maisip mag-shopping. But, you can also treat yourself with a nice small things. Pwede ka rin kumain sa labas. With your family. But hindi lagi. Diba? And the fourth one is, is spend your money wisely. Making a wise decision on spending money, you can save more for the future. Alam nyo, kaya naman tayo nagsisave ng pera para sa future. di ba? Malay mo, tulad ngayon, pandemic, nawalan ka ng trabaho. O di ba meron ka ng madudukot? Kasi meron kang na-save. Hindi yung nagpipm ka doon sa messenger, Hello, pwede bang pautangin mo ako? My gosh, nawalan ako ng trabaho. Yung mga ganun, para hindi yung mangyari sa'yo, you have to save for the future. Tapos sabihin ng iba, eh, kasi naman eh, wala naman kayong ginastusan eh, kaya marami kang nasisave. Hindi. Alam mo dito sa Amerika, if you know the lifestyle here in the US, we have to pay a lot of bills, including car insurance, medical insurances, lahat. Electric bills, heater. Alam mo ang dami. Pagkain. Ang mura lang dito sa US is yung clothes. The clothings. Sa pagkakaalam ko ha, yun lang ang mura. The foods, the grocery, they are all expensive. They are all high. Yung mga rutas, ang mahal. Eh, hindi pa yun organic. Yung mga pagkain, yung mga bread, ang mahal-mahal. Buti na lang nagda-diet ako. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Money you save, the better financial aspect will be. O, diba? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope I will see you next time. God bless you. Stay safe. And bye-bye!